Action. Hello and welcome to the Tommy and Eliza cooking class. We're so very excited. So this is gonna be so great. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's do this. So uh, you are you received this video because you have opted for our cooking class and you have one of these large boxes of fun time. I thought we'd just start off. So this is what everything's coming in. And this is what everything's okay. coming in. I just love these boxes. I feel like I feel like you know. I feel like a baker. I feel, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. Okay, so. I'll start by just going through the box, okay? Now we've got some mussels here. Um, all right, I've got some rum. You want to, you want to see the rum? Wait, no, no. We were, we, it's not rum for drinking, it's for the dessert. Oh. I, I thought it was seven. I got another rum because I thought that would happen. All right, so we've got <laughs> rum, we've got brown sugar, we've got an egg, almonds and sugar, chocolate. We should have some chocolate. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's just have some I, chocolate. Um, I don't mean to interrupt. What yeah. are we making? Oh, we're going to make mussels, and then we're going to make steak with potatoes and a blue de burn sauce, and then we're going to, uh, it is a ribeye, it's a wagyu ribeye, mm -hmm. big enough for two people, right? Right? Or me. Or you, or you. Yeah. Got some cream, got some bananas, this is the dessert part, just want to make sure we have everything, okay? Got some focaccia, we've got red peppers, I, in their box they're only going to have one. But we're going to have two because we're both going to cut one just for fun. Okay. It's going to be a race. Oh. It's not going to be a race. So I do have a question. Yeah. So the last time I chopped an onion. Yes. You, know, you got to keep your fingertips out of the way. And yeah. What, you lost a it didn't. It didn't work so well. No. <laughs> I had a red onion. How do you do that? Well, maybe we'll yeah, get we'll, to we'll it. Yeah, we'll get that when we Never get mind. to it. Sorry. Yeah. But I also want to show, like, here's here's a male pepper because it's long, and here's a female pepper because it's squat. Okay. I know. You need to know that. We've got some coconut milk, some blue de burn. I just want to get everything out. All right, we've got some cider, got some potatoes. Um, got a little thing of herbs right there. Herbs. It says cream and Dijon on that sucker. Shallot, broccolini, also known as aspiration. This is thyme, thyme and garlic. And then we have the very important yes. butter. Butter. Is okay. That that's enough. And then we can use this for recycling or whatever, right? But right now it's going to be over there. Okay. Okay. So, let's start. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay. So, first and foremost, we have our mussels here. And this is just a really easy part of the dish. Now, these mussels have been cleaned, and we've cleaned the mussels that you're getting in your box as well. But if they're not clean, then they might have a beard on the side. Now, the beard is what attaches the mussel to the rope on which it's cultured, where it grows. Okay. And so, you just... Just move that back and forth and pull it and it will come right out. Huh. You know, like beer. Yeah, beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. You know, you look great. And then what I like to do when I'm cleaning mussels is a lot of people will say, run them underwater, but then you're not really submerging them. You know, like there'll be pieces that are under the water and it's also wasteful. Okay. So what I like to do is just put it in a bucket of water and just kind of, and wipe them off that way with a towel or something like that. Because you've got, what, sand and grit There's and sand and there. You got it, man. Yeah. You got it, but these are just beautiful. Oh, there's a little bit of a beard there. But, you know, we have these all clean for us. That was just a little bit of one. You can just take that right off. Yeah, perfect. You're kind of yanking it out of the sink. Just kind of so yanking it out, okay. Okay. So, in this pot, in this pot, we're gonna put two of our little cubes of butter. Nice. All right? And then we've got the mussels that we've been keeping on ice. We're gonna put those in too. All righty. And this is the only plastic we're using in all this. That's Everything cool. else is recyclable and just lovely and we're just really happy. So now good. it comes to the time to, where we're gonna uh, cut the pepper. You you go ahead and cut the pepper. I wanna see how you're gonna do it. Oh wait, you wanna show, want me to show you the claw thing? Okay. <laughs> so what I like to do when I'm cutting a pepper is I like to take off the top and then take off the bottom and then make a little incision on the side. Now these seeds in here, they gotta come out. You can use your hands, you yeah. know, you know, or you may use a knife, right? Just get it out like that, for sure. Right. Now, when cutting a pepper, what I like to do is I'll just have my, my fingers like this, because this way, you know. You're doing the knuckle. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but you're not gonna really cut your knuckle because the blade's down here and your knuckle's up there. So you can even go just like right against it there, okay? You wanna try that? Yep. Okay. I'm very proud of you. I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, you're funny. I think I'm funny too. Luke, can you open this for me, please? I certainly can. Okay, Luke's here too, just so you know. We all we all think, oh, it's so weird to see everyone without their mask on. We got, we've got Tommy, can we, can we tell them? Sure. 
Tommy has had COVID and I just got a negative test this morning and Trang, our, our uh, videographer, she's had it too. And so this is awesome. I'm just gonna hang out with people now who we're had it. Invincible. Invincible! Yes. I'm so excited. Feels, You're doing a really good that. job. My gosh, that's fantastic. And kept all the fingers. <laughs> you kept all your fingers. Okay, so now there's a couple different things we can do. We can take these suckers and go really small, like so. All right. So much quieter than my child. I know, I know, because it's my knife and I kind of know like the shape and everything like that. We can do that, or you know what? We can just cut all these in half. What do you What are you feeling like? Uh, I'm feeling that. You feeling I'm that? I'm feeling the chop. You want to try? There yep. you go. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a kid's program? Uh, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> you sure about that? We're not allowed to curse because Gator's nearby. Um, let's make sure it's okay. I, see? Room jack, it's fast that way. Oh, yeah. it is good. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really happy with it. You want some? What you got oh. there? I got some cider. But here's the thing. We don't need to add a lot. Like, I just added it to... It's a flavor thing, right? It's a flavor thing. But here's the thing. Like, we're, we're going to be steaming these mussels. But we're just adding a little bit of liquid to them because the muscles themselves, as they steam, they're going to release a lot of liquid. When they open up. When they open up. And that's the sauce, man. That's the sauce. Gotcha. All right, we need uh, Do you want this whole pepper? Uh, sure, why not? You don't have something else? Nah. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so one thing that I noticed that you're doing is when you're when you're getting things off of the board, uh -huh. let's, just, let's just start with things that Tommy does wrong. Okay. It's a side program. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a long using, show. He's using his <laughs> knife to scrape the things together. That's just dull on your knife, people. So if you got to scrape it, use the back of your knife, okay? All right? I, just because I didn't do that doesn't mean I didn't know that. Okay, all right, all right. Good, yeah. They were having so much fun. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, now we're going to peel this garlic. How do you like to peel garlic? Um, the wrong way. Okay, So I cut good. off either end uh -huh. and then... Break it off and get Actually, in. Actually, that's not a bad way. Yeah. It's but not a bad that's way. not your way. No, it's not. But I don't like smashing garlic because then you oh, just so release that was all. Your way. No, no, no. Because then you just release all the garlic oil everywhere, right? right? And, it, and it releases some. I knew that too. You, you knew it. So here we're gonna peel the garlic this way. How's your? How are your triceps going, Rainer? Can you, can you shake that for me? Yes. That doesn't work. Keep going. You gotta really do it. My way is way easier. It kind of is. You're going to do it my way. Yeah, for sure. I have a feeling. But, you know, you get a free mason jar out of it. It's so much easier for you in one second. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, no. You're getting close. Here, Tommy. Uh, it's for you. Should I just leave? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's just, just going to make the cooking much easier. It's yeah, like a yeah. glass of wine puts you forward in your ski boots, do you? It does? Yeah. What am I drinking here, Luke? That is Chablis. Chablis? Okay. Mm, yes. now, now you definitely loosened it for me, for sure. But look. There we go. Peels coming. Peels right off. Got it. Right? Beautiful, huh? And so you leave the ends? Yeah, we can leave the ends for sure. But but now I don't want to smash it now because right. I've done all this work. I like to just do a nice little cross cut on it. Right? And this will... You don't use the razor blade like they did in... Goodfellas? No, I didn't. Did you ever but see that? I did. I yes, of course I saw Goodfellas. I'm a human <laughs> being, aren't I? Um, okay, so now this is like the easiest thing we're gonna make wow. all day. That it's, already looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna add. I've I've gone ahead and mixed together some heavy whipping cream and some Dijon. The Dijon's a little stuck at the bottom. That's okay. You know what we have? Utensils. We do. Yes, tools. Tools. Here's one. Not right talking there. about me. Here's a tool right there. Yep. Uh, okay, so now my trash can is all the way over there, but I, when I'm cooking like this, I like to bring my trash can out, you know, and just have it right next to me. Okay, here we're going to go. Here we're going to go. Are you so ready? What else do we need on this? The lid? There you go. Gosh. <laughs> I kind of softballed that one. Too. She did. That, that was an easy one. That was one. a lava. That was an easy one. Okay, <laughs> while this is cooking, look, what, what are our guests going to be drinking with it? I'm going to get a glass of wine. So, it's 12.30. It's warm. Oh, so needy. Oh, needy. Um, <laughs> so you have Chablis for your muscles. And the reason I chose Chablis for your muscles is for a couple reasons. One, that is the right glass. This is the right glass. Um, right? okay. Yeah, let's see. They're the same. They're similar. Um, the reason I chose Chablis for your muscles 
is for a couple reasons. One, Chablis is grown in Kimmeridgian soil. So it's dirt that's named after a time period. It's white, crumbly soil that is literally ancient shellfish shells. So you have mussels, ancient shellfish shells. Great, super fun. Light, crisp, clean, mineral driven, just like your mussels. That being said, Dijon, which is another key ingredient in your mussels, is about an hour and a half from Chablis Drive. So it's like the Montrose to Artelluride or, <laughs> or something like that. Do they have a Walmart there? Uh, I don't know. Um, but that's another fun thing. So we're kind of keeping it as regional as we can. Um, so you've got light, crisp, clean, mineral-driven wine. So in this wine, you're gonna get a couple of fruit notes. I get like a tart green apple in there. I get that chalky white stone on the nose as well. And bright, crisp, clean, high acid. So you're gonna feel acid right here. It makes your mouth water, Ooh. right? And that mouthwatering sensation is great for any meal and it's a great primer. So now your palate's all ready to go, your mouth is salivating and you're well on your way into your first course. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. yay. Definitely got the apple. Yeah. Your stone thing, that's probably a stretch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what can you tell us about the color? Is the color like, is it representative of Chablis? So. And is it pronounced Chablis? It's still <laughs> pronounced Chablis. Um, so whenever you're looking at the color, always looking it over something white because that's how you're gonna really see what color you get. So on the edge of your wine here, you do see a little bit of kind of like a, a silvery platinum edge as opposed to California Chablis, or excuse me, California Chardonnay, which you're going to see more of a golden color. That's a result of oak barrel treatment. This wine that you're drinking is currently aged in all stainless steel, so there's no oak barrel treatment. It's light and it really is an expression of the earth and the grape as opposed to the vinification process. As they say uh, from this winemaker, the wine is made in the vineyard, not in the winery. Wonderful, thank you, Luke. All right. That's very interesting. Let's get something else here. Okay, right? Right. These, these are, They're just gonna steam away. I'm just gonna let them go. One How long? Pound, one pound wonder. So now we're gonna have, oh, until they're done. So when they're all open. When they're all open, exactly, okay. exactly. Like we can give them, they're not even close to me. Right. You know, let's just let, let's just let them go. Okay. It is possible to overcook them, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> Better not. Or else I'm not eating them. All right. What does it say on there? It says Wagyu. 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 Nice. Awesome steak. Some... This is this is actually from Nebraska, but it's like Wagyu cows have brought from Japan that breed uh, and and raised in Nebraska, and so it's just got a lot of great marbling on it. And, and, the, and the ranchers go out and slaughter the cows every year, right? Um, they do in Japan. I don't know if they do that here. You think that's like a job? Like um, cow masseuse? I don't know. Like, do you think like you shovel the poop and then you get a massage? All right, let's cow? go back to this. All right, let's go back to this. Okay. So this, I've had this out because I want it to be room temperature. It will take less time to cook. And we're just going to, I'm going to relax the meat. Right? Oh, yeah, so you know all about relaxing the meat. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just going to put a lot of pepper on it. <laughs> and also just a ton of salt. More salt than you think, because the salt is not only flavoring, but it's causing the blood to inch out, and it's going to give us a really nice crust, okay? Yes. Now, this, this thing salt. is not... What's that? That's enough salt. That's enough salt. You sure? No. Okay. Yes, I am. Um, so, yeah, so we're just going to let this sit. This is room temperature, though. You want me to put it against your face? No, no. I'm, okay, all right. Good. Fine. Yeah, okay. Fine this is room temperature, because if we start with a cold steak, it's going to take forever for it to cook, and that's not what we want. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna let this sit just for another second. Let's go ahead and cook our potatoes. Are you getting a cramp train? Is that what's going on? Our videographer's getting a, getting a <laughs> cramp. So I've got a couple different ways we can cook these potatoes. We can cook them in salted water, or we can just microwave them for three minutes. Really? You, yeah, yeah. Why are we supposed to microwave fruit? I mean vegetables, both. Why not? It's, it's, a, it's a great way to keep their nutrients intact, and, you, and you're only cleaning that. You're like, Killing the nutrients. No, no, I don't believe so. Okay. I know you, but yeah, by letting all the steam escape in, in like a roasting or getting all the caramelization, which we love, you're kind of introducing some free radicals and such, but this is great. All right. As long as you don't have a pacemaker. You don't do you, old man. I know, I know. 
Do so I get any pay for this? No. Okay. Yeah. Drink the wine. Drink, yeah, yeah. Drink, drink as much wine as you want. Be sure you, be sure you don't want to move on to this. <laughs> Alrighty, we're having so much fun. All right. Okay, so I think it's time to cook the steak. Awesome. What do you think? I'm down with that. Okay, I'm gonna move these muscles to the back. Oh, but Trey, come over here and look at these muscles. My gosh. Come over and look, Trey. So we can see that they're starting to open and they smell really lovely. We're just gonna give them a little bit of a stir. See that guy, that's not open yet. So we're just going to just kind of bury it deep into the liquid there. And we're just gonna wait for that them all to open. In fact, so we can eat it all at the same time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute, just so we can get on our steak part, okay? Is that, okay. Is that all right with you? Well, Do you wanna eat it right now? No, no, I'm wondering timing. Timing? Like, so. That was probably like, Five minutes. Oh, but wow. Yeah. They are open. They, they are, are open. Okay. Yeah. That's way quicker than I thought. Yeah. So I'm not leaving them on a heat because I don't want to eat them right now. Keeping them warm right now. Keeping them warm. And then if they're cold, if they get cold, I can just zip them on um, high heat just for a minute. Let the water cook through or the liquid, excuse me. And then uh -huh. that'll heat the muscles. And right. you know what? You can always eat them cold too. That's very French. Uh huh. Very French to eat them cold. So very Yeah. So Francais. <laughs> we'll, we'll eat them in a minute. You look hungry. You know, you're wasting away nothing. <laughs> okay, so I have a really nice hot pan, and I'm adding my olive oil to it. This is just regular pure olive oil. I don't, I don't cook with extra virgin olive oil because uh, it has a very low smoke point. It tends to turn things grassy and bitter, so we don't do any of that. That's actually a good one. The, the olive oil, the extra virgin is more for it's just for like raw salad type of thing. Exactly, exactly. Regular you know, olive just, oil. Yeah, dipping really wonderful bread in and that kind of thing. Oh, speaking of bread, we should go ahead and put our focaccia into the oven. Our oven is set at 350, which if you read your notes, you're supposed to do that, but set it at 350. And we're just going to let this cake, this cake cook. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. But you can smell the potatoes too. Oh, I know another question with potatoes. Yeah. Um, do, are those washed? Do you wash them? Yes. You yeah. wash them? Yeah, oh yeah. Because there'd be like a little bit of grit on the outside. Right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just I just kind of squish them around in a little bit of cold water. And you've already done that for everybody, or should they do that when you? I've yeah. already done it for everybody. I know. It's like I'm there. You don't let them cook. I mean, are you cooking now? <laughs> I think you're cooking now. You're doing great. Okay. So here are our potatoes, and they're nice and stuff. So well, that one's not nice and stuff, but these are. Okay. We'll just throw that away. It's, it's not. Oh well, yeah. I mean, just a little bit of a knife test too. Yeah. Those are great. So, oh, they're hot. Yeah, yeah, that tends to happen. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you do this though. Because they're hot. You they're, can't. Yeah. Well, gotcha. you know, just maybe not that one. <laughs> <laughs> but this one. Okay. Oh, that was oh, way that. too much. So, will you just smush them like that, please? Yep. Thank you. Oh, too I'm much. Just, no, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, do this. You're not wrong. You're just not right. Oh, perfect. Are you are you going crazy there? Are you doing a lot at once? Too many, maybe. Man, no. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say ah, it. So gonna... hot, so hot. So they're hot. They're hot. Definitely hot. But they're easy to smash when they're hot. Eliza, I don't have a microwave. You don't have a microwave? What do I do? Well, you can boil them in salted water uh, until they're tender, which is about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, but the potatoes that our, our guests are getting are going to be already cooked. Okay. And yeah. they're going to be cold, so you don't even have to do this. But I wanted to see, just show you how Tommy reacts to pain. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Wait, so you give everybody... Already they're going to get potatoes. like this, or... No, no, no. No, they have to smash them. And then just heat them up. Yeah, and exactly. Smash. Well... Heat up and smash. Just to smash. So smash we're gonna and grab them. Smash grab and grab. And smash smash up. and grab. Okay, so throw them on here. Yeah. These are some of my favorites. Potatoes. Potatoes. And you know what else we're going to need on this? Salt. Isn't this fun oh, that we get to do this in the, at the house? Yes. Yeah. This is it's Tommy. almost like being in your real kitchen. It, we are I mean, in my this is a real kitchen. This is, what? Okay. what? Okay. Let's okay. Just, All right. Continue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the wrong. You do the class in the dining yeah. room anyway, Tommy. This is true. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put those potatoes in. Alexa set an eight minute timer. But well, now. I don't have Alexa. <laughs> You're just a caveman. He All doesn't right. have a microwave. I have a microwave. You don't have a microwave? All right, okay. I don't have a microwave. Try to come over here and look at the steak, please. 
So our steak, we have a really nice crisp crust on one side. Is it going to hurt the sound if I turn on the thing? No, I don't think it will. Nice crisp crust right there. Oh my god, look at that. I don't like to sit over here and like flip it and flip it and flip it and flip it and flip it. Just because I don't think, I that doesn't really do much for me. It's not affecting anything. So, we've added two of our... Around you can, more. you can. Well, you don't get the nice crust. Right. And the crust is really what I like. You so, like yes, I think. I think so too. So now, with all this lovely melted butter in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste the steak with the butter. Oh my God! Can anybody smell this? Fran, can you smell it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Can y'all see it? Liv, come over here. Take a look at the steak that you're not going to eat. <laughs> Vegetarian. We'll do a vegan class at some point. You can eat all that stuff. Actually, I told someone I was doing this today, and they're like, "Oh, I have to do one of the veggie things." He, he said that's cheese. No, potatoes are vegetables. Potatoes are vegetables. They are. We got that going for us. So now with this steak, I'm gonna use my fingers. This is. We're getting there. We're getting there very quickly. All right. This is. Oh, it's still just a little mid rare right now. But what I'm gonna do? Oh my God! It smells so good. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry, not sorry. So how can you start with me for my cousin? Well, here's the thing. Like, if it starts bubbling uh, blood on the top, it's becoming medium very quickly. But if it's really soft like that, where it's, like, rare, you see how that's, like, my finger's really giving on that? That's rare. And we're gonna, I want to go for a mid-rare. But it's going to continue to cook once, um, once I take it out. So I've got a little thing of herbs here. Ah! So you got some blood coming. I know. I'm trying to get so, it out right now. So what, I mean, what, what is that telling me? That's telling me that it's turning medium very quickly. And if I have oh, a really? ton of blood on it, oh my gosh, open oh this. Stay here. No. We just stand here watching you struggle. Well, like it's you, real. I know. Struggle is real. All right. <laughs> okay. We don't need to. So I'm just gonna put this steak directly on these herbs. It's gonna cook the herbs. The herbs are gonna release a little bit of a, a aroma into the steak, and that'll be wonderful. Okay, Tommy, Yo. we need to do a couple things right now. We're gonna leave a little bit of butter in there. We got we gotta make our sauce. All right. All right, we're gonna chop this. You, are you familiar with this sucker? Uh, just eating it. That's it. Okay. Well, it's called broccolini. Right. It also goes under the name of aspiration. You said that? Yes. Um, well, it's I didn't know if you were paying aspirational. attention. Aspirational. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So this is what we call a 100% yield vegetable. We can we can use the entire thing. Okay. All right? So. Except for the ends. Well, we can use the ends. I mean, they look real dry. No way. So I'm just giving this a nice slice. All right. And then. We can add this to our pan, and it's going to cook in our pan. I like to add, really? yeah, because first of all, we didn't look at this. But look at all that, all that crustiness and all that wonderfulness from the steak. We're not going to waste that flavor, are we? I want to keep the florets out. Oh, look, and you're doing the right thing. Yay! Learning. I can learn things. Okay. We're also going to do a shallot in there, too, okay? Okay, uh -huh. all right. Okay. Nailed it. Yep. So, you like shallots? Uh, yes. Do you like they onions? Are, yes. You know, I shallots like, and onions are different. They are. They're What's both the in, difference? They're both in the allium family, but shallots are just smaller, so they're not as, but, they're not as strong. And if you are crying when cutting a shallot, you are well. But you're getting a different flavor. You are getting a slightly different flavor just because they're, the onion. yes, yeah. exactly. And what I love about shallots is they're so small. It's like when you cut an onion, you're having onion for the next three days. You know, like, I have to use this onion. It's in the it's in the fridge, you know? Does onion keep? It, not really. I mean, I heard me. it starts going bad as soon as you cut it. Yes, exactly. Same with this. Okay. But I could have just, see how there's two sections in here. Yeah. I could have just um, broken off the sections. But, you, you know, I didn't, did I? No. Well, how do you cut a shallot? Wrong uh, way? Very carefully. I'll do sections. You'll do sections? Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Like, I would have broken off the whole thing of that. Okay. And then chop this up and eyeballed it for, is this enough or do I need more? Let's see. Now, how do I cut it, cut it? Yeah, 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 let's see. Oh, I'm gonna lose a finger. You're not losing a finger. Now that's very good. Very good. Gotta remember the thumb too, okay. the thumb sticks out. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, that's, that's lovely. Really great job. 
a couple things, okay? This is a, this is great. This isn't, you know, this is just to teach those people at home. Yes. You know, they, you guys need to know this. I'll show you what not to do. Yes, exactly. And he's doing a very good job <laughs> with that. So well, the way I like to cut shallots and onions and apples is I'll take my the palm of my hand and steady what I'm cutting and go a horizontal slice and then I'll do some vertical slices like that. All right. And then literally I'll, chopping it. Now I'm literally chopping it. And when I get to the end, when it gets close to my fingers, I get scared too. Oh God. Yeah, okay. So, so I'll just push it on its side like that right. and just go that go there, right? And then I can, that's the only part I'm throwing away. Well, you didn't let me finish my cutting. Oh God, what are you gonna do now? Well, then I take this. Uh-huh. I go. You're using that thing to, to, you're using the knife. You're gonna have to sharpen my knife after this. That would be a good lesson, too. That would be a good lesson, too. We'll do that another time. Okay. What are you looking for, Luke? Coffee mug? Oh, uh... So your way's better. Right here. So you can get Tommy Sharper your knife, though. I can get Tommy Sharper your knife. I'm looking for a different coffee mug, though. Let's see. So are we using this whole shot? Oh, no. That's way too much. But see, okay, so to sharpen my knife, though, if you're at home and you need a knife sharpener, uh -uh. coffee mug. He's yeah. got a little piece of exposed ceramic there. So we can just sharpen it this way. Get out of town. Oh, I will. I don't really? even I don't even live in town anymore. And, and you're at a 10 to 15 degree angle, aren't you? I am! Oh my gosh, you know! It's like I'm a chef, but different. Yeah. Very, very different. All right, so here we have our steak is resting so nicely. Now, people are like, oh, but I don't like my steak cold. I don't like cold. Well, that's, it's not going to be cold. It's going to be well rested. If we were to cut into it right when it came off, what's going to happen? You're going to lose all your juices. You're going to lose all your juices, all your blood, yeah. I mean, you can cut with aluminum foil to help keep it warmish, right? You know what? The sauce we're going to put it with is going to be super warm. Oh, I almost got it. So, we're just letting the broccolini soften just a little bit. And I'm just using this, this implement here to get all that crust off. In France, they call this fawn, which is super fawn. <laughs> Oh, that's helpful. Oh, I love you. I expect nothing more. Okay. All right. I expect nothing more. Okay. So we've got that going. We're gonna need a little bit of red wine for this. Now we can use a red wine that Luke is, has uh, put in the package for you. But I've, I already always have like some some cheapo stuff, and that's just what I'm gonna use. Alrighty. Oh, letting the wine come to a boil, right? Because then that cooks up a lot of the hot taste. But when we stop, when we say hot, we mean alcoholic. And yeah, I'm not talking about you. Oh, yeah, neither, neither. Alexa, stop timer. We were teaching people how to use Alexa too. So let's check out our, our potatoes. You know, I want to go just a little bit longer. I want some crispiness on yes. them. You know, Alexa, set five minute timer. Okay, so here we have our steak. Pan. I've got some cream. I know. I, I, I'm with you. And then I have some blue cheese. Mm. Blue to burn. It's it's a uh, blue cheese from France. Nice. From France. I love it. And we're just gonna mix this whole thing together. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I'm excited. Trang, are you excited? Trang, I'm excited. Trang, I got it. Let's add our florets to there too now. The florets don't take as long to cook. So, I don't want to overdo them. Like, I, I, I want still a little bit of crunch in there. Oh, oh. I know, it looks really good. Yeah, I did this. You made this. Sure. You made this. <laughs> I was, I gotta, I'm just here to watch this happen. <laughs> I got to make sure it's not poisonous, you know? Oh, I love it. I love this dish. It's, I've done this dish a million times, and I still... Is this I, on the video? No, it used to be, like, for many, many years, but now. All right, I'm just gonna let that just kind of simmer away and turn off the heat on it just so we can eat some mussels. Are you hungry? Sure. Okay, let's eat some mussels. Oh gosh, should we eat them just right out of the pot? Probably. Probably, but you know, we're not going to because we have kuth, right? Kuth? Is that what that is? No, I don't think so. Not much. This one? No. Here, now I, here I have a female spoon. You know why it's female? Oh God. Because it has holes, yeah. get it? We all have holes. Yeah, I know, but the female spoons in the kitchen have, have these kind of holes, have slots. This guy, nope. Look, he's got a crack in it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. oh, my God.
I know, I'm very excited. Can you smell it? I can smell it too. Oh yeah. So now, mussels, because they grow in dirt and sand, they're gonna leave, they're gonna have a little bit of dirt and sand in them that they're releasing as they're cooking. So okay. I say we can use some of this juice, but like that don't, last don't quarter cup, yeah, that last quarter cup, just, you know, make Makes it for sense. your homies. You know, one for the home, remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, good. Sure. I'm glad you know that. Oh. Wow. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Now we don't have muscle forks because the muscles already have, already have implements right here. See, I got one, then I got two. I'm gonna take this guy, get, make me a little pincer. Uh. Oh my god, nobody's ever. Oh man. I think I get this one. Never there. seen that? Never seen that. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't come up with it myself. Alright. Oh, own. I'm gonna have it with some of the wine. Now, why, Luke, with the Dijon being in this dish, does that throw you a little bit or no? No. I oh. mean, <clears throat> Dijon. So, what, <laughs> what makes Dijon Dijon separate from other mustards is actually the incorporation of white wine. So we are really, truly just using all of this like regional, drink, 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 it's good for you. Okay. Um, we're really using all of this regional kind of practice, but I really do think that the flavor, the lightness, the crispness that we have from the wine and the richness and the fullness we have from shellfish, which is inherently sweet, even though I say that with like an asterisk, this sweet is very much like a, a, a meat sweet. It's not, it's not like sugary sweet. Um, really, really flavorful. So you've got good acid, good sweetness, richness here, lightness here. So there's, there's two schools of thought and there's the, the contrasting pairing and there's the complementing pairing. And sometimes you can hit both with one wine. <laughs> A great example is acid and fat here. So you've got cream and richness and you've got br bright high acid wine. So that's kind of the game with that. And the Dijon doesn't throw me too much. Again, like I said, Dijon already has white wine in it. So we're just kind of playing into that, um, that flavor profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you know how to make muscles. Oh, I'm so down. Yeah, I mean, they're, so, they're just, they're so oh. easy in their, their own juice. Now, if any of these muscles, when we were cleaning them, if they were open, cracked, had holes in them, get, get them wet, get them wet, all right? And then if they're open, we can also give them a little tap on a hard, you know, like, hey, on a hard surface. And if they close, then they want to die in, in cider, just like all of us, right? I hope you got that. Okay. If it's open, give it a, give it a little knock on a hard surface.